The Bessonet Police Service has suspended the search for Amy Lewis, who was last in contact with friends on June the 11th and reported missing on June 13th. Over the past two weeks, search efforts have included thousands of man hours and have concentrated on locations investigators believed had potential to lead to Amy's location. The search was assisted by dozens of uh, southern, Southeast Alberta Search and Rescue volunteers, Bessonet Fire Service, Halo, British Army Training Unit Suffield, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police with their helicopter quad teams and search boat, regular fire department, Suffield Fire Department, along with volunteers who came down last weekend from Calgary Search and Rescue. The United Way, with support from many local businesses, have also provided nourishment for the many searchers. Unfortunately, these search efforts have not provided the information the police are hoping for, as we still are no closer to determining Amy's whereabouts. The investigative team has met with members of Amy's family to discuss this difficult decision. Everyone recognizes that continuing to search without further and definitive location will not be put on the case. The Police Service the investigative team continues to investigate and process evidence and is reviewing large amounts of information that is coming from the public. We ask that the people continue to be vigilant in their normal activities. Should anyone discover anything suspicious or have information which may uh, be of value in this investigation, you're asked to contact the Medicine Police Service or Crime Stoppers. Search efforts for A.B. Lewis will resume should viable information become available. The Strom family and the Medicine Police Service sincerely thank everyone for their assistance uh, to date in this investigation and in the search. Do you have a number of how many volunteers are actually the, the exact number has uh, been has fluctuated from day to day, and uh, I'm sure at times there was probably upwards of 100, and at times less than that. But uh, it is very uh, significant man hours have gone into that process. Is there anything specific people should do if they see something that might be connected, or, or? absolutely? I think um, first of all. Uh, Phone, phone the local police authority if it's Medicine Hat area or the RCMP, phone us and uh, you know, don't disturb the scene. Uh, if you come across anything that has some connection, uh, remember, remember where it is and have us as uh, the police authorities come and, and uh, follow up on exactly uh, this connection to this case if possible. What did the Strong family say when you had this discussion? How are they feeling? Well, they recognized as well and it was a mutual decision that um, everyone recognized it would not be productive to continue searching without, you know, more definitive locations where we, uh, you know, we have to focus attention. Can you talk now that if the search is over about what locations you were looking at, more specific than just the uh, River Bend? Like, were you looking outside of town? Where were you? Looking? We had uh, locations um, along the South Saskatchewan River, uh, in Redcliffe, uh, south end of Redcliffe, down along the riverbanks there, from Echodale, uh, down through uh, the city along the river, uh, around the bend, out towards Saskatchewan, we followed the river in that direction as well, as well as a number of, a number of other locations in and around Medicine Hat that, uh, that we felt might lead us to, uh, to a location. Uh, you were saying earlier that there may be more charges laid. Will putting on or ending this search affect um, when we see those charges at all? No, not at all. Um, the investigative team continues to uh, process the evidence we have. That takes time. Uh, we we def definitely have a significant amount of information to review and determine its validity, and um, we continue to anticipate charges for the charges to be laid in this matter in the days and weeks to come. Can you explain at all or expand at all uh, the charge that uh, Mr. Stevanson is currently facing, uh, accessory to murder up to the back? Can you expand on, on how you came to that charge? Uh, evidence that was uh, gathered through the investigation led investigators to believe that uh, uh, we have evidence to support that charge and uh, his connection to this event. Do you have a specific crime scene yet? Uh, we have a number of, uh, uh, I guess, locations or, or if you want, pieces of evidence that we've gathered that uh, we believe at this point in time connect um, uh, or connected to Amy's disappearance. Can you talk about the relationship between the accused and uh, Amy Lewis yet? At this point in time, um, we are we are uh, keeping the 
certain aspects of this investigation, um, the integrity of the investigation, and uh, we are not uh, releasing uh, specifics of, of that information just yet. Um, there seems to be a lot of um, rumors in the community, uh, more than I can remember personally mm -hmm. covering it, but you've been in the community longer than me. Uh, I mean, have you ever seen uh, an incident like this that has generated so much curiosity, comment from the general public? I think any time that you have um, this type of an event that occurs, whether it be the loss of life or a missing person or anything that's out of the ordinary activities that communities you know, normally experiences, uh, it does pique the curiosity of the community. It does uh, invoke a lot of attention and emotion, and uh, people are concerned. Um, if it's more than others, I think varies, but there's always interest in a matter like this, and uh, being every file is unique, in some circumstances it's kind of wrapped up in a, you know, a little bow in a box immediately, and other times it takes a lot of time to process it, and again, that varies depending on the file and the public's reaction, it varies depending on, yeah. on how that goes as well. Has that curiosity had any sort of negative impact on the investigation, made it harder at all? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's uh, there's there's people who, who hear things and uh, and repeat them as gospel. That certainly is not value to anyone. Um, we, we continue to ask for people who have first-hand knowledge of this event to contact us and let us know um, if, if they feel that it will have some positive impact on this investigation. Absolutely. But as far as rumors floating in the community, you'll always get people who will speak may not uh, be basing exactly what they hear on fact. What would you say to anyone questioning the longevity of this search, saying maybe it was too short? Well, the, the reality uh, is always uh, dependent upon the information you have to make the search viable. In this particular circumstance, we followed the, what investigators believed were the best potential possibilities that existed with the evidence that was available at the time that may lead us to her location, Amy's location. In reality, we are no closer today than we were two weeks ago when we started the search. And so it's a frustrating process for us. It's very, very difficult as an agency to, to speak with a family and suggest that um, we are making headway in that regard. And, and Really, the reality is, wh where do you begin to look? Uh, you know, if, if outside of the normal search areas where we felt that there was some value, uh, those have been searched thoroughly, and uh, nothing was was uh, of value was found that would lead us to her whereabouts. And so, where does one begin? You can look at every possible location, and, and you could have thousands of people involved. 50 mile radius, 100 mile radius, 500 mile radius. Where do you begin and where do you end? And without any definitive location, it's very difficult to, to continue to search productively. And uh, from uh, Mr. Stepanski's CCTV appearance in court, it appeared he was at the Southern Alberta uh, Forensic uh, Psychiatric Center. I think it's called. Uh, can you comment at, at at all about uh, Mr. Stepanski's mental state right now? Or? No, I have no information available to me as to exactly where his location is yeah. or uh, what his what his, uh, what his mental state is. I have no inquiries and I have no knowledge about it. Okay. Good. All right. Thanks.